lesson two. Okay, in lesson two, we're trying to uh, explain uh, variables this time. So variables, very similar to C programming, but if we do something in C, I'm just going to write C in, up here in this section here. I'm going to do a bit of C code for you so you can actually see how we declare a variable in C. Usually you have to give it a type, so we're going to say a type integer, and we're going to give it a name, so we're going to go testing, and that's it. So that's that's basically declaring a variable. You want to assign a variable in C, you put testing equals to, and then you give it five, number five. That's how you declare, and that's how you uh, assign a value in C programming. In PHP, you don't actually need to def declare a type you don't need to say anything you just put the dollar symbol and oops there's a dollar symbol there and the name of the variable is called testing so we have to follow that structure that's all it is and you can give it any type and it can take any type and then it will change automatically dy dynamically it will actually change its type uh, automatically uh, from one type to the next from an integer string and so, so on now this script here will demonstrate this and it will show you how the variable takes a different type each time it goes through okay so here I've made a comment I said declare without assigning and I've put an echo so now we put an echo and I'm using a function called get type okay which tells us the type uh, and we'll put the name of the variable here testing and it should get bring out null because we he hasn't got any type he hasn't taken any type okay we haven't given any type and here we're saying echo break line that means start a new line this is a html tag like i explained and we put it inside quotation marks and here we've started the variable again testing but we assigned it with a value 5 so now it should take the nature of an integer because that's what it is it's holding a whole number 5 and now we're going to test I'm going to say echo get type and say uh, question mark sorry not question mark dollar testing the name of the variable and it should print out integer start a new line again this time we give it the character 5 it as a string and it should here when we do the test it should say string notice again we're using com comments here so this section where there's a comment it will be ignored by the interpreter okay we do it again here we, as you can see I've put a float number this time and it should say float and it takes a, and we put another one we can put true false we can put any value here and it would do the test again and it should say boolean okay and I'm gonna do another um, otherwise it's gonna stick together because we haven't done a line new line break here this time we're gonna give it assign testing an array if you recall how we do arrays in C programming well in PHP is just the name of the variable and then you assign it the type array and then you put the elements within the brackets just like so and it would do the test and it should say it should say it's an array I don't need to put this bit here I don't need to assign it anything and we just start a new line here and that's the end of the script this is lesson two but I'm just gonna give you a little intro into comments now just the same way and see we've we've used that and we've used this one as well okay this is the start of the comment okay and this is the end of the comment so I'm gonna put this is a comment which will be ignored by the inter and as you can see this is a comment block which means basically as long as it doesn't reach the end it just keeps going and uh, the interpreter or the compiler will ignore it so once it reaches that as you can see again the, the, that as long as if that lines finished here 
it, it won't ignore this section but in this case it will ignore all this because it's all within the block okay there's another way we can write a comment again this time using the hash if you put a hash and then you say comment line again that's also another way of doing a comment uh, this is in PHP these are the comment tags used in PHP in HTML if you was doing a HTML file and uh, you, you, this is how you do a comment okay let's explanation mark and then two minuses and then you say this is a comment in HTML okay don't use this in PHP don't use it between that these these um, tags if it's in if it's between that that means the interpreter is going to see this as a PHP and it's going to create an error with this but if it's outside the PHP tags I mean after you've closed the PHP you can write it here you can write it here in PHP you can always start and stop as many times as you like so that you can start and stop again okay and you just you can just keep on going here we can actually put some HTML or a comment HTML okay so that that bit would be ignored okay but it's regarded as HTML and we open it again we close again and here okay if I can't put this comment before the, the PHP tag and again I open and I close it here okay and I open and close again and as you can see I can put any HTML tag here as well so that's lesson two I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna go to here again go to humancom.com PHP lessons again very quickly I'm just gonna click on edit see it in here that's the code that we wrote in text editor and let's see what happens so the first test pr produced null type integer string double boolean and array and that's exactly what the, the purpose of the script okay uh, we've said it here in comments we said it's gonna say integer string float boolean and array at the bottom there and the first one was null that was the first test 